Heaven, we got something called Heaven's Phone. It's available 24 hours a day. Pick it up. Say hello. Still can't believe, really not here. We explained to months and months into years. You promised you'd stay. I know how you tried. But God needed you, so I stepped aside. I didn't collapse, did not fall apart. But deep down inside, there's a hole in my heart. It comes out of nowhere, the sight of a sound. That's when it hits me that you're not around. So much to remember, so much to forget. You left me too soon, is my only regret. My heart breaks a little when I think of when. We planned on tomorrows that would never end. November, November, and uh, so uh, before we get into everything, let's play the new song. He sent me to you. You did. I'll see you in a little bit. The moment I saw you, my heart skipped a beat. The day'd finally come when you and I'd meet As I walked towards you, I felt my heart raise Most beautiful smile on a beautiful face, yeah Those next two hours together, we knew there and then our searching was over, our pain would now end, yeah. My face heard from smiling, I knew you could see it. One I so loved, I knew you would be it. Mm -hmm. God heard me crying, the angels did too. He answered my prayers and sent me to you. And sent me to you. Our road wasn't easy, many bumps in the road. But we kept on going, no matter the load. You were my Bella, and I was your bear. Some disapproved, but we didn't care, no. Sometimes the pain really tested our love. That's when we asked for help from above. Smile down upon us, keeping us focused, cheering from heaven, no hocus pocus. Mm -hmm. 
God heard you crying, the angels did too. He answered your prayers and sent me to you. Send me to you. We almost gave up, walked away from each other. We knew in our hearts there could not be another. Mm. A void in our hearts that nobody could fill. We climbed every mountain like it was a hill. Like it was a hill. Been hurt in the past. Our trust had been broken. So many promises that never were spoken. The future is scary, but no matter whatever, we'll hold on to each other and get there together. God heard us crying, the angels did too. God sent you to me, and He sent me to you. Yeah, He sent you to me, and He sent me to you. Song Father here. Echo. There it is. Better? There you go. Welcome, everybody, to the Song Father Show on this 18th day of November 2019. It's flying by. Thanksgiving is a week away. Well, not from today, but next week. So, uh, yep, it's flying by. So, I uh, hope everybody had a nice weekend. Uh, the weather up here on the island of Long was a little chilly, willy. And, um, but, you know, that's what comes with the changing of the seasons. And um, sunny down in Florida and, you know, friends like, uh, like uh, Big Al Brown and Al Grimaldi and uh, um, Angelo Greco. And I can go through the whole list, a whole bunch of people down there, the Matarannas and everything else. And uh, Tommy uh, going through so much uh, complaining that it's 50-something degrees down there. Oh, they can't stand the chill. <laughs> Fred Rubino, same thing. Come on, you guys. What, are you kidding me or what? Although I know when Sonny comes up here and it's like 60 degrees, he's got on a long sleeve shirt, puts on a sweater and everything else and because uh, he says, you know, the heat and the climate down there thins out the blood. And so I guess I understand it to a, to a certain degree, but come on. You know, when we're up here and it's 11 degrees and you're downstairs and downstairs, <laughs> you're down there and it's 70-something degrees, uh, on, on a cold day, you don't get no sympathy from me, sorry. But um, I like the change in the seasons anyway, so, and I got a little excited like a little kid. I still do when I saw the snowflakes over the weekend, and uh, I know it's a pain in the ass, but I like the snow. I like when it's, I, I've always had since I was a kid, I remember three years old in the Bronx, I used to climb up on the couch and get up on the back of the couch and look out the window, and uh, the L. That's elevated train for all you hicks out there. The L was right right on the corner from where our window was. And a big giant uh, street light was right there. And I, I would be able to position myself where I could block it off and then I could see, you know, what intensity the snow was coming down. And I was just always in love and intrigued by snow because you don't hear it coming. You know, rain and wind and stuff like that, you know, it's banging against the window. But snow, it comes down so so soft and peaceful and then the next day it's bedlam it's like mayhem on that commercial and uh i just always always love snow and i guess i always will but um we got time even though they say this is going to be one of the worst winters for snow and cold and everything else so hey everything happens you know you get down there and uh, you, you got to worry about the uh, hurricane every week and a half and uh you know i remember when i was down to see sunny once 
and I had uh, um, Camaro convertible. Ugh, what a beautiful car this was. And um, so, uh, you know, he works during the day, so I would just drive around, go to the beach, whatever. You know, spend most of the time by myself until he got off work, which I was okay with. You know, tried to stay in communication up here with, uh, with Bella and Bree and everybody else. Um, uh, and uh, this particular year, uh, you had a bad, we had a bad snowstorm up here, and I was down there. We couldn't get through. I mean, it was, it was a horrible time. But uh, so I stopped at uh, one of the drugstores. I can't remember what the hell was down there. And um, it's beautiful. I got the top down. It's beautiful out. I, and I had to go in and uh, pick up a couple of things. So I go in and I come out. Pitch black out. Raining like a son of a bitch. And the inside of the car, it filled up the, the, the cup holders inside the car. If they were this big, the rain in 10 minutes filled it up to here. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. But that's Florida life. So everybody goes through something. Look what California just went through between the earthquakes and all the fires and everything else. And Australia's been on fire now. And, you know, it just doesn't stop. You know, it's Mother Nature. And, and I understand that. And then they say, oh, it's global warming or it's nuclear testing. It's this and that. And somebody put up a, a thing the other day. I think it was today, actually. And it was yesterday. And it showed the flooding in Venice that they're going through that's caused, caused by global warming. And then they showed a picture at the same exact angle of the same place in 1895. So what was that? That Was that global warming too? I mean, you know. Everybody just wants to... So anyway, that's the story. And uh, before we start getting into a whole bunch of things, let's say hello to Tino with his new picture. Look at this. Oh, there he is, Tino, the Wonder Bird. He's one good-looking dude. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. I swear he looks fake. Right, don't he? He's such a cutie. Tino, how you doing? Whoa, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you there, boy. Everything good? Hold on. Let's see. Everything all right? Yeah? yeah? Okay. okay. You want to talk later? Okay. What are you doing, right? He, he talks, talks when he wants to, and then he don't, don't talk when he wants to. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to interfere, interfere with him. him. So so tonight's, tonight's theme is going to be, be a little, little, uh, a little personal, personal on my part. part. Um... Uh, not, Not talking, talking about, about health-wise, health wise, talking about heart-wise, and uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know let me we just, just put, put this out there and then leave it, up, leave it where it is. You know, I like people. I enjoy them. I've helped a lot, a lot of people out there, personal basis, um, with connections that I had, and who was having problems with, the, with their spouse, or who was problems with their job, or with the police, or whatever. And you know, I always love to do that. Um, but I have never... Um, I've never put the moves on anybody. I've never put uh, myself in any kind of a, a situation that I would be embarrassed about. So, uh, you know, I just, need, I just needed to put that out there. And, uh, you know, if this is, uh, if this is uh, the last bunch of songs like this that I'm going to do, then that's fine. But just bear with me because uh, it just needs to be done. It's a, it just needs to be done. Let's leave it at that. Okay? But it's fun. They're fun songs. But they're love songs. And... and uh, um, requited love? Is that the right word? I don't know. Requiem for a heavyweight? <laughs> Who the hell knows? But uh, um, all I know is that uh, I'm a good guy and, and, uh, and uh, I have a good heart and I have a good soul and I think it shows. And, uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not evil, I'm not sneaky, I'm not a liar. And so let's just put that out there and then let it stay right there. And uh, I'll keep everybody up to date what's going on uh, you know, tomorrow. I, uh, there'll be no show tomorrow. Uh, Got to take Daddy O to the doctors and then probably go out and get something to eat. And then, uh, and then I got to start my stuff. So I got to start making, uh, making appointments. I got to go through four CAT scans. I got to go see a neurologist, a urologist, a proctologist. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, please. Um, ophthalmologist. Uh, I don't know. Name out any kind of gist that you want to do. And, um, and we'll see. We'll see uh, how everything goes. 
I'm very optimistic about it, just a couple of things uh, that we're concerned about. So, of course, your prayers are always welcome, um, always, even if I wasn't going through this. You know, I say a prayer every night for all the yous, yous, so yous can say a prayer for me. That's how it works around here. So uh, time is ticking down, by the way, and, uh, uh-oh, oh, here it is. Mm, I have no idea. I don't have a clue where I am, where anybody is. I don't know if I'm 10 votes behind, 100 votes ahead, uh, 200 votes behind. I have no idea. We're, none of us will know until December 15th, so just keep on voting and sharing and you know, just send to everybody you can. You, if you're members of groups, just put it in there. Don't worry about being embarrassed or people saying, who the hell is this? It's a friend of mine. He needs our help. End of story. That's the way I work. That's the way you work. I know you're all doing a great job in doing that, so. I love it. And don't forget the Song Father radio station has now got quite a few Christmas songs on it. It's got the uh, Song Father Christmas songs on it. You know, um, Paulie the Big Nose Goomba. Here Comes Menopause. Frankie Got Run Over by a Caddy. Dominic the Donkey. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365, unless I don't pay my bill. And um, at WLYV Live Radio 122.2. Old song, Father. Hold on, Daddy O. All day. Hold on, Daddy O. Here it comes. All night long. Streaming 24 hours at all capital letters www.thesongfathershow.com. The, uh, the, the new song, and I'm working on three more now, believe it or not. Uh, the new song is. Uh, uh, delayed in getting on iTunes. I don't know why. Uh, it's on Amazon Music. It's on Google Play. It's on uh, uh, Spotify and something else. I don't know. TuneCore. Uh, I don't know. Something else. I always forget which one the other one is. But So, um, yeah, you, you know, you like it. I've gotten some, some really nice uh, feedback on it. And uh, they like the, uh, the kind of gritty, bluesy um, way it was done. And... Um, they like, of course, the lyrics to it and everything else. And a few people picked up on the, the chorus. It starts, you know, the first round of chorus says, God heard me crying. Then it was God heard you crying. Then it's God heard us crying. And the angels did too. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I bring it to you right there. Get the food over here. No, out of here. Last night, last week was over here. Get the food out of here where Fred and Christine are going to show a whole bunch of uh, nice things you can make for uh, Thanksgiving next week. And uh, so that should be a lot of fun. And uh, anything that you might be missing, you go to his wall, go to his fan page, go to Get the Food Out of Here fan page, and there's some nice things up there. Um, how to make their um, mashed potatoes, which is kind of like I make it, but uh, a little bit more creamier. And uh, I might have to try that one day. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's always a lot of fun. And, um, you know, they go through the steps, step by step. And, you know, he steps out of line. Christine steps into him. <laughs> so, anyway. And don't forget, growing in leaps and bounds, rocking the kitchen with Guy Tave, not your grandma's cooking show. And um, a lot of people are putting some unbelievable, interesting stuff up there now. Yeah. It's good. I like it. You know, the other people that are just trying to self-promote themselves uh, you know, found some place else to go. So I guess that's very good. And um, so now uh, we still have to do this. Daddy O! I hope you're feeling good, Daddy O. We had a good weekend. We had a nice visit on Saturday and, uh, uh, you know, busting chops and everything else. And it was very nice and Chrissy. Thank you as always. Very gracious, and uh, it was a nice, a nice visit. And I'll see you tomorrow for sure. And then we go to the doctors, and then we get something to eat. All right? So there you go. All right? Look at the it's a new thing at the top. See it? Yeah, listen to the song, Father, 24 hours a day. There it is. Why are you not doing it? I don't understand. You better be doing it. I have, I have tracking abilities now. Okay? I go right into your house. I go right into your computer, and I see if you're listening to it. I'm very disappointed in some of you. I really am. <laughs> I only kidding. Kind of. 
So anyway, it's time now for Brrr, Chrissy's Good News Stories. Brrr, extra, extra, read all about it. Over in Australia, a McDonald's worker with Down syndrome has retired after 32 years of quote-unquote service, get it, uh, at 50 years old. Okay, 50 years old, he gave 32 years of service, you know, bravo to him, and he said, you know what, I think it's time I packed it in and relax a little bit. And there he is right there. And I was going to put up the picture of him when he first started. Maybe I should have put him side by side. But for me, this picture alone is, is enough. Hold on, ready? Nope. I tried to catch Tina. Yapping. But there he is, 32 years of service, great job. Had a great life. He's got enough money, to say, he said, to sit back and, and relax and retire. So God bless you, my friend. Very good. Excelente. Now take a trip up north to Canada, and uh, in Toronto, the, uh, the people in the town, they built small houses in a little community for the homeless veterans, for them to live in, enjoy their lives, get out of the streets, and it's just, it was, there's their way of saying, hey, we thank you for what you did. Look at this. This is opening day. These are the, these are the, the little homes. When I say tiny, you know. They're not gigantic houses, but they're nice. They're nice apartments, one bedrooms, a nice kitchen. They all came with a TV, you know, flat panel on, up, on, uh, up on the wall. And that was their way in Toronto of saying, thank you for your service. Thank you for what you did for our country. We're sorry that you're in this situation. Here you go. Now, especially up there, if anybody's not been up to Canada, I, uh, I used to travel up there quite a bit. And not just to Toronto. I went to a place called Thunder Bay. Okay? If... If the temperature gets to like 10 below, that's a heat wave in Thunder Bay because it averages about 40, 45 degrees below zero. So, uh, you know, they definitely need a home. So it's very nice what they did up there in Toronto. So God bless them. God bless the veterans in Canada. God bless our veterans. They are our heroes. And they called it Homes for Heroes. You know, and that's only a, you know, what is that? One, two, three, four, I think five or six. Uh, homes right there, but it, it, it was over a hundred that they built. They built the whole community. So, beautiful. Damn. I, I thought I had him. He's, he's a, a pain, pain in the ass. ass. In a good way. But he's getting too smart. He knows when I reach over to the other mic that he's going to be on. If you're so, so shy, shy about it, then be quiet. Stazito. So, so uh, let's, let's go, go to Africa, Africa now. Africa. Africa. You can call it whatever you want. I like to call it Africa. And uh, a baby, baby elephant. elephant. Excuse me for the echo. I'm sorry. There you go. A baby elephant would be, uh-oh, wait, is this the right one? Uh, no, wrong one. Oh, no, it's the right one. I'm sorry. Baby elephant was being beat um, and uh, unknown for unknown reasons. I'm sorry. He was being beat by, for unknown reasons by his mother. And uh, rescues stepped in and picked him up and took him and took him to a sanctuary. And... Uh, you know, to save them, you know, uh, you know, sometimes they say uh, that happens with, uh, with, with mothers and the fathers, uh, you know, something triggers them, they get very aggressive and, uh, and they take it out on the, on, on the, the younger ones. So uh, they you know, scooped up the baby elephant and brought it to the sanctuary and from the time they put it inside, uh, you know, into this big gigantic multi-acre place, the baby was crying, you know. When I say baby, I mean for an elephant, but it was two months old, so that's a baby. And it was crying. It did not stop crying for five hours. Just crying and wailing. And other elephants that live in, in the same compound and, you know, don't know this baby from a hole in the wall, but they heard the crying. Elephants are very social animals, very family oriented. And they heard the baby crying and they went and said, let's go. You know, the top picture on the left, you see them coming. Here they come. 
They're surrounding it. The little baby there is in the middle. And then the bottom picture is that's how they stayed. For whatever reason, they don't know, but whatever reason that baby was crying, they make sure it'll never happen again. And that baby is growing and healthy and happy and has its own family. So, you know, all we say, we got a lot to learn from the animal kingdom. There you go. Right there. They could have said, whose baby is that? I don't know. Man, from the hell with it. No. No. He ain't one of us. Oh, no? Okay. Look what they did. Beautiful story. Absolutely beautiful. So, uh, all right, we'll do one more. Over in Indiana, Indiana wants me. Lord, I can't go back there. Mm hmm. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. He's right. Next, Next week, week I'll do a bird story. Uh, maybe Wednesday night. Um, so, uh, over in Indiana, the Eckerd Community School District uh, used to, at the end of the day, after they fed everybody in the meals and the students and everybody else, whatever, whatever was left over, they uh, chucked into the garbage can. And um, somebody came up with the idea like, wait a minute, what are we throwing this food away for? There are many families here that, you know, they get to eat during the week, but they really, you know, they're not in a position to really eat over the weekend because some of the kids I told them, you know, they're starving when they come in Monday, they can't wait to eat because the family's poor, there's not enough food on the table, blah, blah, blah. So they decided, you know what we're gonna do? We're not throwing out any more food. We're gonna take the food that's left over, okay? And we're gonna put them into packages and give them enough, it's the students that need it, enough food to take home to get them through the weekend. Look at that. Up in the left-hand column is what you get for lunch, okay? So, you know, right there, I guess it's like chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes, and I guess that's a salad and some corn and milk, and it's not bad. So instead of chucking what's ever left over, okay, not off the plates, what's ever in the plates goes in the garbage, but in the kitchen, they take it in the bottom right-hand corner, they make meals out of it, right? Shrink wrap it all nice and tight, and then the, the students come and pick it up at the end of the day, when it's time to go home and get on the buses or get picked up, and they go and they get their meals to take home. What an ingenious, what a wonderfully heartfelt idea to come up with, okay? It's not out of laziness. It's not like, well, now we don't have to clean up. <laughs> no, that's, that's not it at all. Doing something for, for these people. It's unbelievable, it's a beautiful story. So good, good job over there in Indiana. We love it. Maybe more people will find it, you know. I didn't put it in there because it's negative and I'm trying to stay positive, you know, because uh, it is called uh, Chrissy's Good News Stories. But they fired a girl, a woman, worked in, in a cafeteria in a school, and there was a kid that had no money to pay for her food. Okay, six dollars too, or well, four sixty-five, I think it was. That's what it was. Didn't have the 465 to pay, so she gave him, here, yeah, take this, and you, when you can, you come see me. Somebody saw it, reported her, they came in, they asked her, did you do it? Yes, I did. Well, why? It's not yours to give away. The kid had no money to pay for his food. Went, well, that's not your problem. You're giving away your blah, 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 Psh, fired her. Are you people nuts? I mean, in all seriousness. You know, it's, like, it's not like, it's not like she wasn't selling it like, all right, normally it's fine. Give me two fifty and I can no. She said here, have something to eat and then when you get the money, you know, talk to your parents, you know, and give me half tomorrow, half next week. When you get it, come and bring it to me. But I want you to sit down and have something to eat. Wow. Isn't that what we're preaching that we want everybody to do? And they fire because it wasn't hers to give away. <laughs> uh, I think they related to Adam Schiff. Mm hmm you know what's funny, Adam Schiff, that maniac, um, the DA on the original Law and Order, um, before Jack McCoy and all the other guys came in, his name was Adam Schiff. Hmm. I don't know why that means anything, but. So, uh, so let's start going with the with affairs of the heart, shall we? And this one is called, If You Don't Know Me By Now. <laughs>
understand me Like I understand you Like girl I know the difference Between right and wrong And I never do nothing To upset our happy home So don't get so excited When I come home a little late at night Cause we only act like children When we got you bus and back, yeah If you don't know me by now You never, never, never know me If you don't know me by now You will never, never, never know me We all got our own funny moves I've got mine Honey, you got yours too Trust in me Like I trust in you For as long as we've been together It should be so easy to do But you get yourself together Or we might as well say goodbye What good is a love affair When we can't see the other Come on, my 
bring it on, bring it on, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, come on, come on. I have a warm heart, it's hard I bring you. To share with you, I have a one tree that I can cling to. You are the one tree I break on the stream. My darling, until I saw you. I never felt this way And nobody else before you Ever has heard me say You are my one love My life I live for you I have a one heart Never gets that part. That's one of Daddy O's favorite songs, by the way, from The Godfather. So uh, yeah, let's get to a couple, uh, a couple more. Of the, uh, Chrissy's good news stories, and then we'll finish out the show. We're at the 33-minute mark, so we're doing very well. And uh, so let's go over to Washington. Indiana wants me. So go over to Washington, and uh, over in Washington, a big, gigantic, beautiful black bear somehow found its way into the Swift Creek campgrounds. And while everybody was out doing their things, you know, rowing the canoes, going down the rapids, having picnics, whatever the frig they were doing, um, they come back, and they find this big black bear passed out completely passed out on the front lawn. And there he is. <laughs> this is a little bear, a big bear, somehow got a hold of 36 cans of beer. 36. And drank them all down and passed out on the front lawn with the beer still in his hand. <laughs> Look at him, out cold. Out freaking cold. If that was Sambuca, Maybe a little less hair on the chest. That could be me. <laughs> oh, man, you got to love that. That is unbelievable. It's a funny story. Here's the story of a bear named Brady who was bringing up three very ugly bears. Okay, let me see. Do we have something else? Oh, yes, I want to do a, uh, a Thanksgiving tip for you people. If you're looking, uh, you know, for a little peace and quiet, 
uh, during Thanksgiving dinner when everybody's all over the place, you know, well, here you go. You're welcome. Little tip here from, from the song, Father. You make a nice cherry pie, right? And you put a whole thing of NyQuil into it. They won't taste it because it's nice and tasty and, you know, put a little, little more sugar if you want on top of it. And they will eat that pie right after they're finished with the meal and everybody will go to sleep. Then you go in the kitchen and finish the wine. You're welcome. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always here to help. And this, not this particular one, but this, uh, these two or these three maniacs are still going. Still going strong. Can't kill them. But I still think this one's the best. But what are you going to do? Right? And I think I had one without a graphic, but I can't find it. So maybe uh, at the 35-minute mark, that should be enough. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, continued on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, he's pissed. Are you done? Uh, come, come on, on you, you got, got to, to, Sorry. You got to love him. You got to love Tino. There he is. Look at that. All that noise is coming from that little beak. I swear he looks fake. Just a very nice looking, colorful bird, right? Nice little colors underneath. He's a good one. He's a good one. He sure is. All right, so you know what? Let's finish up with some of these songs here at the 37 minute mark, and then we'll do all right. So we just finished up with uh, um, I Have But One Heart. We still got four tunes to go, and uh, you know, I'm sure I'll be able to make it through. And if I don't, so what? If I get a little choked up, then you just deal with it. And you don't make fun of me, and you don't report me. To who? I don't know. But it's a, a beautiful song um, by Miss Carol King, who I've always been a fan of. And uh, this is called Now and Forever. And it's a, it's a very honest and, uh, um, I think, maybe a healthy way to look at the uh, uh, end of a relationship. Um, she's saying Now and Forever. We're, we're a part of each other, so you know, if you wanna you wanna hit the road, you can go right ahead. But uh, you know, I'm never gonna stop thinking about you, and we're always gonna be in each other's hearts and souls. Hey, come on, wake up. Nice. Come 
struggle together? Didn't we live together? Didn't we cry together? Didn't we play together? Didn't we love together? Together we live of the world. Well, I miss the tears. I miss the laughter. I miss that day we met and all that followed after. I know I wish that I could always be with you the way we used to do. Now and forever, I will always be with you. Now and forever. This next, next song, song by Mr. Mr. Billy Joe, Joe Thomas. Very special. We live in the modern age When love is fast like a turning page In a magazine You rarely see The friends we used to know they disappear, they come and go like the times we had. It's all so sad. Whatever happened to old fashioned love, the kind that would see it through, the kind of love that my mom. Is all we plan We say tomorrow We'll understand If it all should end We'll be alone again Tenderness has been replaced Something less and it's hard to find What was left behind Oh, whatever happened to old-fashioned love The kind that would see it through You broke in my heart, and now you need. 
love of my life, can't you see? Bring it back, bring it back, don't take it away from me because you don't know. Yesterday, but not as much 
song why don't we do it in the road <laughs> wow did you hear that reverb 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 so that's today's show we got uh, some good notes for wednesday tomorrow like i said there'll be no show uh taking daddy o and chris taking daddy o to the doctors and uh, then get something to eat so i will not be home in time and uh i have to be in the city i have to leave here so uh, yeah there's no time to do it and uh, so you know forgive me Please, shout, please, please, please. I'm going through enough. <laughs> so don't forget, first of all, don't forget that boy, Tino. <laughs> Tino, you want anything? Go ahead. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Got it. He wants me to do songs on Wednesday, either about or by groups with a bird name. Okay, we can, we can probably do something. So, uh, Daddy-O and Chris, hope you liked it. Hope you liked the songs, the tunes. I hope you're snapping along. Don't forget and vote for the song, Father. It's ticking down. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, maybe I should sing that. Every time I put this up, I should do Lionel Richie. All night long. Okay, don't forget tonight. Get the fruit over here. No, out of here. Damn it, I got it wrong again. Over here is from the outside. Out of here is from the kitchen. So get the fruit out of here. Or he's going to make, uh, him and Christine are going to make a whole bunch of nice Thanksgiving stuffs. You know what ain't going to be steak pizza. I only, I only been asking for it for like, I don't know, 20, 30 years, something like that. Stop by, say hello to everybody. Join if you haven't joined yet. Rock in the Kitchen with Guy Tave. Very, very nice. Very wonderful stuff going on over there. And uh, don't forget these people, huh? Okay, you know the Godfather? Yeah, big deal. I know the song, Father. So thank you, everybody, for everything you say and do and all the wonderful things that you write and send to me and, and um, all the voting that, that you're doing, with, even without me reminding you. Uh, it's just, uh, it's great. It makes it all worthwhile. And, you know, if it comes out with the ending we want, it's going to be great. So, yeah. So now we say goodbye. We say BAM, B-A-M. You can say it. BAM. And we will see you. Um, well, we see you right now. But uh, we'll see you again Wednesday. Same time. Same bat time, bat channel. And uh, have a good night, everybody. Tino, goodbye. Tino. Adam.